and the bass keeps running, running, and 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 running, running. Hey everyone, this is Corsair with AMD Log. Today's topic is Roto Brush. And what the Roto Brush does is that it will take your clip and it will mask it out for you. Although it sounds really good, um, it's very picky and it will not work for many clips. This clip I found actually works decently because one, we have high quality footage, so the lines are nice and defined. And two, Naruto's hair is a bright yellow, so we're trying to get rid of all these dark blue colors and uh, the Roto Brush will do a good job at picking out the yellows from the blues. So those are two things you should definitely look for if you're going to try and Roto Brush your clips. Okay, here we go. We have our clip right here. Uh, Naruto is dripping wet for who knows what. And uh, we can just double click that. And then you can grab the Roto Brush tool, which is right up here. Um, so we have this green circle. And you can hold down on control to adjust it to whatever size works best with you. But basically what you want to do is trace the shape of Naruto very carefully. And you don't have to make it perfect. And there you go. That pink line, that's going to be the mask. I think it's pretty amazing. Um, but you'll notice it's um, kind of messy. You need to get some of this stuff in the middle here. And you'll notice that it missed some edges. Not a big deal. And there you have it. Now if you hold down on Alt, the green circle will turn red, and you can use that to eliminate parts that you don't want. And this will help the Roto Brush pick out which parts you do want and you don't want. So now if we go back to our composition, oh Naruto is all masked out, but it's not even done yet. So if you were to fast forward a little bit into the video, you'll notice the Roto Brush is going to keep moving with Naruto. So if you were to actually watch the clip now, Naruto is all masked out, and it actually looks pretty good. Um, you'll notice that there are some very rough edges, and the uh, Roto Brush did not do a perfect job. There is a refine matte function, which um, sometimes works. I'm not a fan of it. I prefer to use the choke. Um, if you were to decrease it a little bit, um, sometimes you'll get a nice outline, sometimes you won't. Um, but typically, I like to increase it a little bit so that way we lose the outline. And what you can do is you can click the video and go to Layer, Auto Trace. It'll automatically take your layer and it will create a mask around it. Then you can go to Effect, Generate, Stroke, make it black. And if you look at it now, we have that nice black outline we are looking for. Um, you might want to tone that down to maybe 1.5 or 1. But uh, yeah, that's Roto Brush. Um, give it a shot. Uh, just make sure you're using good footage. Um, once again, it's very picky and you have to be careful with what you use. Um, don't get discouraged from using it though. If used properly, uh, the Roto Brush can save you hours of time on masking. So thanks, good luck, peace out.